Hi, uh, it's Shauna again, and I'm really excited because March 1st, a bunch of new products are coming. My most favorite is going to be the lip stain. Uh, back in November when we had our customer kudos and we got uh, lip stains for meeting the qualifications, it was crazy. I would wear my lip stain and people would be like, I want to buy that. And I'd be like, I can't sell it to you because it's mine and we don't have it for sale yet. And they'd be like, well, stop wearing it then if you can't sell it. So... My one and only wish was that Unique would offer the lip stains because they are a maze. Um, and then I got my wish and I literally screamed uh, at the top of my lungs because Unique made my life by offering the lip stain. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's upside down, I believe. Lip stain. And it's the consistency of what I call, it reminds me of Kool-Aid, honestly. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on. Now, Everybody has their preferences. And as you can see, I have very pale lips. So color on my lips is so important. It's like one of my things. I have to have some kind of color or some kind of gloss on my lips because I already have a pale face and pale lips just washes me out. So uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how I apply this lip stain so that you can get perfect lips with the lip stain as well. It's very, very thin. I don't know if you can really get the gist of it, um, but it's very thin. It's not thick or goopy or glossy. Um, it's not a solid. It's a thin lip stain, and it literally will stain your lips. So this is how I do it. I kind of will start in the middle of my lip, but my goal is to get all of the edges and almost line the lip and then fill in the middle. So here goes. You see how thin that is? And I go up here. And I make sure that I really impress that line. Because then you make a lip liner out of it. I go in and I fill. So it's going to dry. So you can see now how that kind of works. Okay, and then sometimes if it's kind of it dries uneven and if it, there needs to be some um, fill in, I'll go over there with a second coat. Go over my lips. A little trick that I do and not all, all of our lips are created equal so I know that different shapes are gonna make different results but to get a perfect line right here I'll go like this and it literally makes a perfect line on my bottom lip so try it I don't know if your lips are built like mine but that's what works for me as you can see I have a gorgeous lip color on uh, it dries really matte um, some people wonder if it's drying. I'm going to tell you right now, anything matte that you don't want shiny is going to be a little bit drying. Feel free. I put just a little bit of chapstick um, or a little bit of gloss right in the middle just to keep my lips um, nice and uh, moisturized. And uh, what I love so much about lip stains is that I am a long last makeup girl. I don't like going back and looking at my face and not seeing any color, it being completely gone. So with this lip stain, I can drink, I can eat, I can talk, I can chew gum, I can chew ice, I can do all the things that I do on a daily basis, and my lips and my color stay put. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. Hold on a second, Lola, that's my daughter. And uh, enjoy the lip color. We're coming out with seven different colors, so it's super exciting. Yay, I'll see you March 1st when our lip stains come out. Bye.